Boozy Tube's crash out needs to be studied. This guy needs genuine help and no one's helping him. The people around him are fucking awful. His fans are awful. And over the past 72 hours, this guy has caused absolute mayhem in the world of creation. So a couple days ago, he announced his 30 day subathon. Well, not subathon. He was going to spend the next 30 days becoming the biggest creator on the platform. Sorry, not the platform, the planet. And within the first day, <laughs> he punched his manager. <laughs> I mean, that is seriously no way to act at 34 years old and with a camera. And not only that, as a social media influencer. Don't get me wrong. I know 34 year olds are going out and fighting on the streets all the time, but they aren't influencers. They aren't put in a position where they have expectations to meet that, you know, they, they don't have to act a certain kind of way. Anyway, obviously he got banned for this, but he was only banned for a day. So he's been unbanned now. But that day that he was banned for, oh. Wow, that was a special day. To start off with Boozy putting out some pretty concerning messages, and then he came out with a video just talking about stuff. And this is not a man in a good mental state whatsoever. This is a guy that is genuinely done fucked up, pushed to the very edge, and receiving no support whatsoever. I mean, Boozy's character is really just broken down to a persona. His actual character is someone that needs genuine help, someone that actually needs to be focused on, someone that needs to step away from social media. But the character that he puts on to protect that actual character is this fucking psycho. But yeah, let's get into the video. I've been under so much stress because I'm, I am promised Eddie and Akil I wouldn't crash out like last year that my adrenaline shot up and I don't even remember the last like 48 hours. That is an alarming sign. Not actually being able to remember the way that you've acted is scary. I mean, I can't even imagine how Fousey feels at the moment. I know he's somewhat recovered now, but his pattern of behavior is just this never ending barrel roll and there's no one around him to support him. I know he has his therapist that will sometimes call him and he sort of has a family, but the actual people that he spends a lot of his time around with, they don't help him. They really don't. Everyone around him knows that he crashes out like this they know that he has genuine problems and they should be saying to him look Fuzi, i understand you want to stream i really do get it but please j just take a week or two off please you need it you deserve it you've worked so hard you're, you're completely full of stress at the moment let me deal with things and please just relax someone around him actually needs to say that to him because this guy is going to end up fucking shooting himself he will genuinely end up eating a bullet if he's not careful and now that i calm down i'm realizing all the destruction that i caused that this happens to me all the time now that my adrenaline dumped and I'm back to Yusuf and I open Twitter and I see what Fousey did, I'm like... This is what I'm saying. His actual character can be broken down into two characters. You get Fousey, which is this fucking psycho that wants to go around causing as much destruction as possible. Then you get Yusuf, which is this sound guy that needs genuine help. But the problem is, no one understands Yusuf. Everyone is just focused on Fousey, Fousey, Fousey. And I know some people might be thinking, oh, why are you glazing him so much? He's a bad person. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Fousey tube. Bad fucking person. A genuine piece of shit. But I think Yusuf, the actual guy that FouseyTube is, acknowledges that and he's sad. He's ashamed of it. But anyway, then he came out with a pretty crazy tweet and, well, I, I guess FouseyTube came back to take over because this is what he tweeted. Dear internet, just so you know, you were never kind to me. Next time you look at yourself in the mirror, remember that. 9pm Pacific Standard Time and then a dove emoji, which usually instills death. It really didn't have to be this way. Enough is enough. See you in eight hours, friends. Now, be honest with you guys this is just a promotion thing it doesn't actually look like he's going to hurt himself but he's using the idea of him hurting himself as a way to promote himself which is fucking disgusting like already more than enough people are worried about you Fousey. why go out and tweet something like this i don't know i get it the whole internet nowadays is about drama but this is too much this is genuinely too far anyway the next following tweets or oh, yusuf had been tied up in the basement and thrown down and beaten because Fousey tube was going <laughs> fucking bonkers i mean fuzzy really had the phone here he was just texting fucking long balls just going absolutely bananas i mean he even added drake here's a tweet of fuzzy adding drake literally an eminem reference and not only that he left screenshots of the dms of drake literally completely airing fuzzy anyway not too long after that drake tweet fuzzy tube came out and decided to choose violence he wanted to kill bryce hall he came out saying dear bryce hall this is probably the most honest anyone's going to be with you in your life fuck you die slow you fairy didn't even need tiktok views to bury you you're dead 
who's next? He literally just decided that he wanted to kill Bryce Hall and that was it. Now left underneath this tweet was a voice note. Every single thing you said about me in the video since 2011 you knew about because I went viral for it and I'm the fucking king of the shit. You're in my playground, little boy. I don't even want to get talking about you touching kids, little pedo. That whole voice note is literally just Fousey shit talking. He accuses Bryce Hall of being a pedophile but doesn't really say anything after that. He just says, yeah, you're a pedophile. But this is what I'm saying about Tube. His character needs to be studied. He really does. Because he'll go from this genuine guy that needs help, which is Yusuf, I suppose, making videos crying and actually asking people for forgiveness and then doing shit like this, causing fucking mayhem on the internet. But what? Anyway, obviously Bryce Hall replied to this, which I think is completely valid, and he said, you're 34 years old, talking like a teenage boy who just learned how to swear. Boozy, I know you're still embarrassed about how I laid you out for being a drunk idiot touching a female, but there's no reason for you to keep bringing it up. I don't need to hit you again because you know what would happen if you tried again. Calm down and go back to sleep. You're two crash outs away from your 10th rehabilitation process. Fair enough. I don't really have anything else to say to that. <laughs> like, he literally just stated facts and that was it. Bryce Hall didn't turn up for any bullshit. No insults. Literally just made statements and called it a day. Anyway, then Tube decided to come out with a video in response to Bryce Hall. And well, this is an interesting one. My music makes you come, motherfucker. This is death row records for this internet shit. G7X records, suck my dick. Any of you want it, come fucking get it. Yeah, he literally just speaks about his music label the whole time and just chat shit about Bryce Hall. I don't get what Fousey's trying to achieve here. I understand he's just trying to cause drama. If I had to guess that that's literally it just to promote his new song. Just kind of taking a couple tips off of KSI. Apart from this is Fousey tube we're talking about here. You know, he doesn't quite piss people off in the same way that KSI does. Like when KSI pisses people off, it's infuriating and it genuinely makes you want to go and watch his song so you can leave a negative comment. Fousey on the other hand, it's like, listen, this guy's too fucking crazy for me to deal with. The kind of shit that he's coming out with is just too bizarre. I can't be bothered. It's just another crash out of the game. He's literally like the boy who cried wolf. He just doesn't stop. She got a big ass. You tout her around everywhere because she has a big ass. Nigga, you posted a video punching her butt, getting other niggas to jack off to her ass. You're a fucking cuck. I don't know if that Bryce Hall bit was true. Fousey Tube said it, so God fucking knows. But if it is, that's an odd one, Bryce Hall. I'll be real. That is a very strange thing to do. But anyway, I just want to loop back to what I said earlier about Fousey Tube's fans. This is one of the comments that was left under one of Fousey Tube's tweets. 12 sections of just glaze. Literally, like, fitting as much of Fousey Tube's dick as he can down his throat. That is fucking crazy. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm all for hyping someone up, but someone like Fousey Tube that genuinely needs help did not be getting hyped up like this. Like, like this is literally someone just playing into his delusion about Fousey thinking that he is a literal god. The way that he speaks down to people is disgusting. Like, the character Fousey is just a horrible person. Like, there's no other way of putting it. He thinks he's better than everyone else. He goes on acting like he's better than everyone else. He treats everyone like they are worse than him. And then he'll have these crazy fucking crash outs. And then he's back to Yusuf, back down to square one. And he's back to the guy that needs genuine help. But, uh, yeah, I just want to talk about this Fousey thing a little bit because I I've been seeing so much Fousey Tube crash out shit over the past month and maybe even longer and I can't not say anything anymore. I, I really can't. This guy needs actual help. The people around him need to genuinely support him with his mental health because his mentality is fucked. He's done a full circle. He's gone from thinking that he's worthless to thinking that he's an absolute god to then thinking that he's worthless again. He cannot escape that cycle without the people around him saying, look dude, you, you know you need help. Like please let us help you because they're all just there to get a bit of money off of him and it's fucking sad but uh, yeah that's about it see you